The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals. set to go Evan McPherson to do the honors and we are underway from Cincinnati and this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 going to put it up right away flushed out right and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again Mahomes throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Mahomes now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run for the first time with Jarek McKinnon. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. Dancing to his left. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Well, they were advancing the ball. They had a couple first downs under their belt, but a big mistake there on the opening drive leads to six points the other direction. And what a good read that was on his part, Brandon, because it prevents a possible scoring drive with how they were moving things along. And it gives the defense the early advantage of what's going to be a definitely entertaining battle between these units. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. 
On first and ten, here's Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. On first down, McKinnon again. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 44 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And they're gonna get this down inside the 20. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. going to be brought down on what will be the final play on this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Mahomes now to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. Here we go on fourth down. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Come on, Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 24. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now a carry for P. Ryan. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now P. Ryan. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. 
That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. He will push his way down to about the 14. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now it's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. It'll go as a gain of four, and it brings up third and five now. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. They'll go to Piran, trying to pound it in. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Martin, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner, and with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with only trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. Well, Charles, you are so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. 
And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Third quarter starts with a run by Chris Evans. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run it here with P. Ryan. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Again, here's P. Ryan. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Here's P. Ryan. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick, more than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And now they will throw it with Burrow. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by LeJarius Sneed. And the Chiefs will take over here just shy of the 30. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. He violated a big-time no-no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tyke. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time... Not the case. P. Ryan again on second down. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. They'll run again with P. Ryan. 
They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it and pick up first downs. And credit the tackle to Juan Thornhill. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. 12, 12, 12. On second down, a run with Evans. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight? No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This time it's third and three. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. The LSU connection, Burrow to Chase for the Cincinnati first. Evans running straight ahead. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Mixon. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They're passing here. Joe Burrow out to the left. He's got Sample there. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. For a gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Burrow will throw. Touchdown, Bengals! Jamar Chase on the touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? He's got a man complete! Touchdown! Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 75 yards. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Butker is on target. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at earliest opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. They try to eat some clock with Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This one hauled in by Sample. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Mix it up the middle. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Mixon. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Heavy set out there on third and one. Here's a give to Mixon. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. Now a carry for Piran. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the numbers. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Forced out to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And the 
This is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. One final try for Mahomes. One last shot at the end zone. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Bengals come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.